In 2009, District 9 became the surprise hit movie of the year. On a budget of just $30 million, the movie went on to make $210 million at the worldwide box office and was nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Motion Picture. Although it didn't win any Oscars, District 9's breakout success was an impressive feat for an indie sci-fi film out of South Africa, with a first-time writer-director that featured no movie stars. So why wasn't a sequel to District 9 ever made? Here's why. A standalone story. According to District 9 mastermind Neil Blomkamp, he wasn't even thinking about making a sequel while writing, directing, and editing the film. Since Blomkamp was only planning on making a standalone film, he didn't set up the overall story arc for a sequel or a franchise. It was only after the film was edited that Blomkamp realized there was room for a sequel. But he still had no idea where that sequel would go. He also toyed around with making a prequel instead. Blomkamp told Hero Complex in 2010, I'm not so interested in aliens coming back and blowing things up, but a prequel might be interesting. Obviously, that idea never left the ground either, and it wasn't until 2015 that Blomkamp said that he had a really cool idea for a District 9 sequel. Does that mean that a sequel is finally on the way? At the moment, it doesn't look likely. Original Films in a perfect world, production on a District 9 sequel would have started shortly after the first one was released. However, without an idea for the sequel, Blomkamp instead used the success of District 9 to get another original sci-fi film into production within months of District 9's release. That movie was Elysium, which he worked on until late 2012. While shooting Elysium, Blomkamp and his wife slash co-screenwriter Terry Tatchell wrote the script for Chappie in two weeks. And after Elysium wrapped, they immediately started working on that. Production on that movie lasted into 2014, and it was released in theaters in February 2015. So yeah, those movies kept Blomkamp pretty busy post District 9. Blomkamp told Rolling Stone that if he were to do the sequel properly, it would take three years to make. That's a big-time commitment. Or while the movie that set it all off recedes into fans' memories. Other Projects Chappie was released in May 2015, and although there hasn't been much news about the director since then, Blomkamp has definitely been busy. In April 2017, Blomkamp revealed on Twitter that he would be making experimental short films for the video game platform Steam. That's a big change from big-budget sci-fi flicks, although at this point in his career, it's certainly less risky than taking a chance on a sequel to District 9. Blomkamp was also briefly attached to direct a fifth entry in the Alien series, going so far as to release Tant utilizing unofficial concept art on Instagram. But unfortunately, that project probably isn't happening. In 2017, Blomkamp tweeted the awful truth, the chances of his alien movie ever moving forward are slim, echoing an earlier tweet that the movie was set aside pending the success of failure of Alien Covenant. That doesn't mean that Blomkamp's blockbuster days are over. After all, this wouldn't be the first time Blomkamp has bounced back after being sidelined on a high-profile film project. Originally, Blomkamp was picked by Peter Jackson to direct a movie based on the Halo video game franchise. When Halo fell through, Jackson agreed to produce District 9 based on Blomkamp's 2006 short film Alive in Joburg. In other words, the fact that Blomkamp hasn't made a movie for several years now doesn't mean that a District 9 sequel will never happen, although it seems to be getting less and less likely. Shalto Copley is busy too. Although he looks different at the end of the film, Shalto Copley is the face of District 9. In his breakout role as a delightfully clueless bureaucrat, the South African actor wowed international audiences and launched his Hollywood career. But I don't trust it. You know, I don't trust anything that... <laughs> oh, you're right, bro. Because you're right, eh? <laughs> After Chappie, Copley's third collaboration with Neil Blomkamp, the actor went on to star in the PlayStation series Powers, and the action thriller Free Fire. As busy as he is though, Copley has made it clear that he'd gladly reprise his role if a District 9 sequel ever materialized. Hard to follow up? District 9 ended on a cliffhanger, and the universe of the film is rich with themes and storylines to explore. Copley wants to do a sequel, and the movie was a huge success for Peter Jackson's production company. In Hollywood, that combination usually adds up to a guaranteed sequel, and yet the furthest in development that District 9 sequel ever got was an 18-page treatment. One reason for that may be because District 9 was too big of a hit. Its commentary on social segregation, xenophobia, and racism blended perfectly with its sci-fi aesthetic, all of which helped it make it an overwhelming success for the first-time writer-director. That's a hard act to follow, even when the act you're following is your own. 
Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.